Hey guys, it's Fez again. We are continuing the Heretic walkthrough on the Smite Meister difficulty for the PC using the GZ Doom engine. We are on episode 5, map 6, Colonnade. So a colonnade is, per Wikipedia, in classical architecture, a colonnade is a long sequence of columns joined by their entablature, often freestanding or part of a building. Paired or multiple pairs of columns are normally employed in a colonnade, which can be straight or curved. The space enclosed may be covered or open. In St. Peter's Square in Rome, Bernini's Great Colonnade encloses a vast space or vast open elliptical space. So these are a series of columns that tend to have a, uh, a horizontal beam connecting them, as opposed to an arcade. An arcade, not like the place where you play video games back in the day, um, that's like the Colosseum in Rome where you have those arches, but there are no arches. It's just a long horizontal beam connecting them. So. As we'll find out in this game, it's not technically a colony because there's no beam connecting the columns, but I guess because there's a long series of them, that's where the column in that. So, there away we go. We'll go down the stairs, open the big door, and knock out some golems. Now, the first part's kind of intense. There's 50 monsters, roughly, we have to knock out in the first couple minutes. Mostly nitro golems and uh, a good amount of uh, golem, or gargoyles, rather. So, I'm going to try and get these guys on the top while I can. Yep, okay, and there, here comes, yeah, there comes the guards. All right. All right, hell staff time. Let's mow them down. Mow them down. All right, now that they're kind of thinned out a little bit, I'll try and polish off the rest of these uh, badasses up here. Okay, there we go. Don't forget about these uh, quartz flasks right there at the end of these columns. So they do count as items. Just, yeah, just an FYI. All right, so we're gonna take some stairs up, grab the goodies, and we're gonna knock out a bunch of golems and uh, some Skeletor and his friends too. Now that I think about it. So I'm just going to use the Phoenix Rod to kind of make some quick work of the uh, Undead Warriors. And then I'll go back over to the crossbow and try and knock out the rest of these uh, golems here. This map has 227 monsters. I think it is the most of any uh, canonical heretic map, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so blow up on those pods. And we'll shoot a wall. This is not a secret. There's only two secrets in this entire level. It's huge, but there's two secrets. There's an urn, and there's another one on the other side of this uh, this area, which uh, contains a ring of invincibility. So just be aware. All right, I'm gonna knock out this uh, undead warrior. Shoot this wall, and then take out this other guy here too, real quick. Okay. Now that he's dead. Okay, here's some cackling. There he's dead. Okay, so um, what we'll do right now is we'll grab the dragon claw and then we'll flip a couple switches. There's one over here. And there's another one on the opposite side. We'll open that one real quick. Oh, well. All right, hell staff time. So we open that other chamber, another red-eyed skull with the serpent thing below his head. And we'll take out the Hell Knight. Not the Hell Knight. Hell Knight. This is not Doom 2. Disciples. Alright. Blast away these uh, stinking golems and uh, disciples. Flip the switch. Alright, so an area will reveal itself. It's the area with the pods that we can see from the other side. So I'm going to fire a couple shots down there to kind of if it'll let me do it. There we go. That should do some damage right there. Alright, before we go, I'm going to get my rings out just in case I, I need to get them out. Just die. Alright, so... Yeah, and I woke up some disciples, of course. Alright, so I'm going to get my claw out and see if I can maybe make short work of them that way. Stay moving, is all I can say. Stay moving. Do not stay still. These disciples... You don't want to be a sitting duck for these guys. That's all I can say. Come on. Finally, you 
dies. Goodness gracious. Okay. Not much in there, just some health, really. Uh, to get out of here, just press on the yellow grates there so you can get an easy access to leaving this area. All right, so what we need to do to get the yellow key is the area we dropped out of, go in there real quick and then take one of the lifts. You can take the left one first and I actually recommend it. Uh, so you can flip the switch, grab the backpack, ride the lift back down, and then repeat the process on the other side. There is no switch on this side, just a chaos device and possibly some ammo. So um, once that's done, grab the yellow key. And uh, just grab the goodies on the stairs because there is some goodies. Alright, open this yellow door, the one closest to the blue, de blue key door, rather, and just rip apart some golems however you see fit. Go down the stairs. And then take on Skeletor and his friends. All right, grab the flask. So at that, if you get close to it, another trap will lower, revealing three more undead warriors. So just take them out as you see fit. Ow, I got hit by a red axe there. I have to heal up pretty soon because I'm not doing too good. All right, so now we'll go up towards the beginning. We'll hit this uh, red banner. It's not a secret, but it, if you're looking for items and kills, you need to hit it. So take out the rest of these nitro golems. The, uh, more nitro golems, right? All right, so over here in this little alcove is a set of gauntlets. So if you need it, you can grab them there. So once we're done with that, we will go over to the other side. We're going to hit this yellow door, take on some more golems. Open this red banner up, take on these uh, pesky little gargs. All right, I'm gonna get a switch going here, a sw uh, switch, a torch. All right, just torch these guys, we'll go down. Take on uh, the nitro golems here. There are about half a dozen of them roughly, so just be forewarned. Ow. I'll go back up the stairs, take on Skeletor and his buddy. Grab the torch and the health if you need it. All right, so now we're done with that. So now we'll need to grab, uh, to get the green key, we'll have to hit this switch over here. There is a new area that is revealed next to the uh, big door near the entrance. Go up these steps and we'll go crazy go nuts on all these gargs and uh, golems. Get the Atoma Power, but be careful once you do. It activates a series of crushing ceilings, so just be careful. It's it's a fast crusher at least, but you just don't want to get caught because this is not a fun place to, you know... Yeah, it's, it's a hectic area. Come on, keep getting him. Alright, is that most of them? Yep, most. Okay, so with them all being destroyed, there are three switches of interest in this area. The first one, if you go and uh, lower the switch, you can get the green key. Well, that didn't have the desired effect. There we go. There's a lift. Grab the green key, but be careful, there is an iron lich. And uh, not to mention a couple disciples uh, on the other side of them. Um, I think they're activated separately because I may have inadvertently flipped the other switch, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. And just be careful because Iron Lutches and Disciples together are kind of a pain in the butt. Ow! Alright, heal up. Okay, he sounds like he's dead. Good, good, good. Okay, so now we'll flip the switch again, go up. 
So the middle switch, it'll activate a couple of areas behind them. There's the sexy enchanted shield, don't forget that. Okay, so there are uh, a couple of teleporters to take. You can take either one. They, um, so I'm going to take the one on the right first just because. So I'm going to grab the arrows, grab the health, whatever I guess I need, not health-wise. Flip the switch, and then we'll uh, knock out a bunch of gargoyles here. So just be careful of the fireballs they throw. Very uh, cramped spot. Grab all the goodies, mostly time bombs. Okay, so you can flip this. I'm out at our arrows. Okay, so this area right here is not a secret. It's one of the areas overlooking the colonnade. If you want to call it that. Um, so you just want to get the map. And I think there is a, an urn. Not an urn, but a, um, a flask rather. So I'm going to grab that. All right, and for here, here's the goodies over here that, that's on the ledge, so just an FYI, that's what you can do to grab it. Um, so I'm going to open this side here, and then this side of the ledge, it takes us back to that room. Um, but if you step next to that skull, you see a disciple. So I'm going to fire a single blast right there, kill one of them right away, and I'll destroy the other one with the claw. All right, so he's destroyed. All right, so we're going to do the same thing now using the left one, the left teleport. Grab the health. And flip the switch. Grab the runes. Take on a bunch of more guards, fire guards. Cool. Okay, so we can flip this one over here. Um, once again, um, step, there we go. Yeah, it's not quite what I had in mind, but, oh, just die. Did it just pass through him? Just die, goodness gracious. Okay, all right, so I'm not quite done yet. I need to go back, get on the lift. Cause I think I forgot an area. Um, there we go. Yeah, don't forget the urn. That's what I was about to say. So on the other side is the urn. That does count as an item, so just, you know, just thought you'd be aware of that. So. All right, so with that being done, we can flip the final switch on here, the one with the spider web on it. Flip that. And behind the first one, behind that first switch, um, a little area drops down, revealing a teleporter. So. Um, we'll go down and it takes us back to the room near the beginning of the map. We'll take on a bunch of undead warriors. So I'm going to try and tackle them here with the, uh, with the Colossus. I got some ammo for it. And I, I'm going to go use a health staff. I got the ammo for that. I'll be even better. And I'll go on the other side and repeat the process. Grab the goodies. Alright, so what we'll do now is I'm going to go grab one of the... Uh, actually, I like to grab both of them um, if I can. There's the flash, so I'm going to try and line... Ah, that was terrible. Come on. How did that... That... What are the odds of that happening? Come on. Teleporter. And we're we're already two-thirds done with this map. That's awesome. So um, let's try it again. Try and get the... There we go. There's that. I drop down. I'll grab the goodies down here. There are some health, uh, some ammo. Uh, no items. Just, yeah, just the stuff to recharge your weapons with. So grab it if you need it. Take the teleporter back up. And we'll repeat the process over here on this side. Um, we'll grab the other flask. Oh, come on! Seriously! Uh, I guess they really don't want me to have it today. Ay, 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 ay. Come 
Okay, perfect. Okay. Now let's take the teleporter back. Alright, let's fly through now. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take the green door and we're going to go crazy. Because there's lots of guards, lots of golems. Yeah, I mean, do you expect anything different, right? Because this, this the whole map is go golems and guards. That's like 80% of this map, I think. Or close to it, at least. Okay, so when things get a little hectic, I may use one of the rings. That's what they're for, I suppose. I'll start using my Phoenix Rod on these guys up here, I guess. Alright, so we'll uh, flip the switch over here, and we'll go ride the lift up. Alright, so now we got some monsters to deal with on the other side. Um, it, that room with the, all those columns in there, um, like the three switches, the there's four doors in there. That's, that'll, oh my god, I'm going to get my rings out because I may not survive. And I'll uh, tell them to power it just because... I'm just, I don't want to mess around. I am not taking any chances. I just want to get this over and done with. I want to survive it. Awesome. I just don't want to mess around with that. All right, go back up, ride the lift back up. That tears the golems up real good. Hit that middle flip right, th flip the middle switch right there like that. Ride that last one up. And this one lowers to reveal another switch and a golem. Okay, I'm gonna use my rod on Skeletor down there. Careful those red axes. Okay, so that flip, that switch right there reveals some steps to get the blue key in the corner. So just be careful with that, though, because it does reveal an iron lich once you get the blue key. So just be careful. I got the weaponry for it. Three or four blasts should knock him dead. Last one. Perfect. That should do it. No? You're still alive? Okay, finally he's dead. Goodness gracious. Okay, grab the backpack, grab the blue key, flip the switch. You can get some Phoenix Rod stuff, and then we'll take the lift back up and knock out. You know what? I got some ammo for this for my crossbow, so I'll take it out this way. Why not? And they'll most likely drop a couple arrows in return, I'm, I'm hoping. Unless they're being really stingy. I mean, stingy today. I mean, come on. Grab the wings. Okay, that's almost everything. All right, I hear a few monsters still straggling behind, so. But we are almost done. Switch, take out the disciple. He's dead. All right, there's still a few more to kill, though. I thought I might have gotten everything, but maybe not. Yes, I know what's up. Okay, we forgot some. There's some business to tend to back in the uh, room on the other side of this colonnade, fake colonnade. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is in this these areas right here, um, where we uh, open up that quasi secret area. Um, there are a couple of passageways. Okay, so one takes you to Morphovum, and we'll go on the other side here. Click on Skeletor. 
that one dropped some arrows finally. Alright, grab the goodies. Drop down. Yeah, there's a nice enchanted shield. I will gladly take that. Hi, hey, Skeletor. Alright, so now we can... Okay, make, make haste. Because this area burns. And we are almost done. Alright, one more secret. A couple more items. One more kill. Get the urn. Okay, I think we got a map back here, do we not? Yeah. So we have one more kill and just two more items. So I think that should sum up everything after this. So. Alrighty. I thought that was everything, but what do I know? Okay. In my practice run, I thought I this is everything. I don't know what I missed. I mean, there's even a kill. I can't. There, there's the dude I'm looking for. Okay, there he's dead. All right, but there's still two items which. I'm not sure what I'm missing at this point because I swore I got everything. Only thing I could think of is something out here. My goodness. Not a fan of missing items. I'm very anal about that, so. Okay, well that's weird. Um frick beans. Because there's no items over here. Just ammo and health, if, if I'm mistaken. Oh, shadow sphere. Okay, I was thinking of something in the corner. There's a shadow sphere. That's one thing. Okay, there's one item I'm missing, and the other one. What could in the world could it be, though? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I, I last time I did the practice one, I grabbed 100% of everything. So. Sure, what could it? Oh, my goodness. Because these don't contain any items.
try this side. I can get something over here. I mean, I don't know how possible. Oh goodness, this is not fun. What in the world could it have been? Probably not worth all this mess. I'm, let me go in the pot room. Maybe I left it in there. I don't know. Yes! Flask in the pot room. Come on. Okay, game over. I'm done. Let's let's blow this joint. All right, colonnade. Um, uh, yeah. So it, it's a busy level. So um, it, it's pretty action packed, I think. So uh, um, the first part is definitely, uh, you know, probably a third of the monsters there in the first couple of minutes. All those uh, gargoyles and golems. So he's. Um, it's kind of difficult from a wand start, I think, because even though you get the crossbow right away and then you can make a quick dash against the claw, there's just not a lot of ammo, I guess, to, you know, early on to deal with all that stuff. So you have to rely on infighting, I guess. So um, they do give you lots of goodies in there. So um, there's a couple of rings. Um, so um, you just got to know where everything's at, I guess, and it should be doable. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. I'm done with that one. So we're going to do with uh, Fetid Mots. I, I, I sounds French. I, I don't speak French. Je ne sais quoi. So uh, we'll do that one next time. And uh, we'll uh, yeah, take care. Please like and subscribe if you like what I see. Leave a comment and tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. I'll definitely try to make changes for you if you don't like it. And until then, take care. God bless.